Hey guys, how you doing? This is the Anthony Brown and welcome to another episode of the Anthony Brown Show. I just came to you guys today because I have something on my mind that's been troubling me. And I definitely, I'm reaching out to you guys because I definitely need um, your opinion, your thoughts, your views, um, the whole nine yards on the situation. Um, and of course, you know, this is my favorite spot I'm eating. This one by KFC. What is this? Some macaroni and cheese. Some gravy. Set my phone over here. Um, oh, more mac and cheese. Oh. Mashed potatoes. Um, and coleslaw. Don't hate. We need a piece of chicken. Listen, I have a situation, and like I said, I definitely need your opinion. And your thought. I spoke with um, one of my best friends, Darren. Um, Darren saw things my way. And, and trust is not, not because of the fact that we're best friends. It's because I felt that um, the way that I saw the situation was technically and legally correct. Um, and of course, like I said, so Darren saw it the same way. However, someone else saw it totally different. So I'm going to explain the situation. And I'm going to tell you how my view, how I thought it came out or should have come out. And then I need to hear from you guys in the comments below to let me know, <clears throat> let me know. Do you think I was right? Do you think I was wrong? Or if I was wrong, how would you, um, if you were in the situation, how would you have handled the situation or the outcome? Here's the situation. Now listen close. <laughs> Don't nobody move. Don't nobody get hurt. I have an individual, Eugene, I'm going to say his name, because um, he might be watching, so he knows what's about him. Eugene is my web designer. He designed my website for ExoticWarMasters.com, which is also the sponsor of The Anthony Brown Show. Now. With that being said, Eugene is also a friend, or someone I consider a friend. Um, Eugene has lived with me before. He's been a roommate for about a year, maybe a little longer in the past. He later moved to Atlanta to pursue a, a career with another company, still doing web design on the side. So, by all means, you know, pursue your bag, do your thing, do you, get your hustle on, make your coin. I had no problem with that, no beef with that, wish them best, so forth, so forth, so forth. Boom. So anyway, like I said, Eugene is an excellent, awesome designer when it comes down to computer graphics, um, stuff like that. And he's quick with what he do. So anyway, so I came to him when I, you know, since I have the Anthony Brown show, I said, Eugene, um, considering, you know, stepping my game up and enhancing my YouTube channel. So I need you to, if at all possible, create me a banner. The banner is the header that sits at the top of your page when someone goes to your social media, whether it's your Instagram, your, not your Instagram, uh, your Twitter, 
um, your Facebook, your YouTube. The banner is the top that sits behind your picture. So he said, fine, no problem. So he created, um, I, I sent him all the logos, sent him all the, the different, and I, I was very specific in how I wanted it to look. I needed the banner to portray my image because I'm already using my cartoon image as my avatar on all of my social medias. So the background, I wanted to be the, the real picture. So you, I would have the real picture on the banner and the cartoon as the avatar. So when someone goes to my social media, they'll see both. And I was going to use that banner on my Facebook, my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, everything, all of my social media. So that when individuals go to my different social medias, they'll realize that it's all the same person and the same brand. I'm brand, creating a brand. In business, you have a brand. So when the people see certain things, they relate it to one thing. For example, when you see the golden arches, you think McDonald's. When you see the, the red circle, the bullseye, you think Target or Richway. You know, uh, when you see the king with the crown related to food, you think Burger King. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was cre creating a brand so that when people go to different sites or different social medias, they'll like, oh, that's the Anthony Brown show, so to speak. So anyway, he came up with um, two banners and sent them to me and said, decide which one you like the best. And we'll build on that. So I said, okay, fine. So what I did was I took the two banners that he created, placed them together on another banner that I created, posted them all on my social media to get the viewer's point of view on which of the two that they liked best. And then I spoke to him and I said, you know what? More people are leaning more towards the one with the red hat as opposed to the one with the dreadlocks. At the same token, a few people have asked me, is it possible that the picture image that you have of me laying across the bed, that you can cut me out of the picture and only use me instead of the background of the bedroom that I was laying across the bed. Because this picture, I was actually laying across the bed. So he says, oh, that will cost you another, you know, 15, 20 dollars. It's going to cost you more money because it wasn't part of the original deal. I said, stop. Don't go any further. Let me go on Fiverr.com, which is a website that technicians are on there that do this type of work, which will do it a lot less. So he said, okay. I said, once I get the picture without the background of the room, I'll send you the picture and then you can complete the banners and we can go from there and change the background because I don't like the red that you've already selected. He said, well, he, so he chose the red because it matched the hat. I said, I don't want the red because red is too close to YouTube's colors. So and I, and I didn't want to clash with YouTube. So I needed another color. I said either baby blue, beige, or soft gray in the background of only me. However, let me get back to you. He said, fine. So about two o'clock in the morning, my time, I got on Fiverr. And I sent out a request, hey, I'm looking for someone that can take me out of, remove, remove the background from my image, from my picture. A guy from, I want to say either Nigeria or Pakistan, one of the two, hit me back instantly. Two o'clock in the morning, we're asleep. It's daytime, morning time over there. I think it's like an eight or nine hour difference, so it was already morning there. So anyway, it hit me back instantly. I can do it, no problem, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> what do you need it for? I said, I'm doing you know, banners for my social medias. He said, no problem. I'll do your three banners for $15, which is almost half of what Eugene was going to charge. And I'll remove your picture, the image from the background 
for free. As a fan, we'll see what it looks like. No problem. Two o'clock in the morning, I send him the images, send him the logos, send him all the social media logos. Went to sleep. About 6.30, 7 o'clock the next morning, just four hours, five hours later, I get up to go to the bathroom and something said, check your phone, check your, see if you got any responses or whatever. The images were done. Done. Complete. And were beautiful. I did three separate banners because on all social medias, they have to be a specific size to be posted on those social medias. He had all three banners done. All three created exactly how I wanted them. And not only did he do the soft gray background, he, sh he did a, 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 um, what do you call it? He made it like a brick wall instead of just plain gray, which is what I asked for. He made it like a, um, a, a, a gray wall, a brick wall. So no problem, paid him, done. I hit Eugene back, my web designer and friend, and I said, well, Eugene, hey, the guy from Fiverr did all three for a fraction of the cost. I no longer need you to do the banners for me I just need you to complete my business cards, where my card is going to promote the Anthony Brown show on one side, and side two, promote Exotic Oil Masters, our sponsor, and my online business. A couple of hours later, I get a text saying, from Eugene, so what are we going to do about my time and the banners that I've already done? My first mind was to say, press delete. But I didn't. I kept it cute and tried to be professional. So I hit up my homeboy, my best friend Darren. And no one knows my mouth and how quick and, and you know, I could be swift with this mouth. So Darren says, well, I would have said he would have said the same thing, but he said, "Think about it for a little while. Give it you know an hour or two, and text them back professionally, and and again reiterate that you no longer need his banners because one they weren't complete, two they weren't done exactly how I want them. Um, so." My, res my rebuttal, my response to, to Eugene was, hey Eugene, I got your response. And I mentioned in my previous text, I don't need the banners that, you, that you've worked on. Two from One, your banners weren't complete. Two, they were not to my liking. Three, why would one pay for something that's not complete? And I even gave an example. Just like your nephew who you live with or your cousin or whomever, he bakes cakes. If I come to him on, on the holiday to pick up my cake and it's not to my liking, I'm not going to pay for it. He's then left with a cake and his time he lost. Women, if you go to a beauty salon to get your hair done or your nails done and they're not to your liking and you decide not to pay the, the beautician, the hair, hairdo and their time is lost. That it comes with the territory, it comes with the job in a service type business. Yeah. If if you are a clothing maker and you make clothes, design and sew and make clothes, and you make me an outfit and I go to pick it up and it doesn't fit, or again it's not to my liking, I'm not gonna pay for it because I, I have no use for it. So that means your time and your material that you purchased to make it, you've lost. It comes with the territory. So I sent him a cute little message informing him of that with all the examples and everything. He waited a few hours, like I said, to think about it. And then he responded. 
Well, right now I'm kind of busy working on web design for these other companies. So I won't be able to um, do your cards right now. I instantly wrote back, no problem, thank you, sin. And I left it alone. I was shocked that he thought or, or thinks that he's entitled to be compensated for unfinished work, unfinished material. That's what I need to hear from you guys. What do you think? You think I was wrong? And if so, comment below and let me know how would you have handled the situation or how you think it should have gone. And if I was right, let me know I was right. I need to hear from you. And right or wrong, I need everyone that's watching to give me a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up over there until it turns blue. And share this video on your social media so that your friends and family can also comment and let me know how the situation should have turned out if they were in my shoes. I'm just baffled at how some people can think or like I said, like, like they're entitled to to be compensated for unfinished work. Now, that, that is crazy. I normally do not like the mashed potatoes from KFC, but for some reason, this time they're, they're actually pretty good. I always love their um, coleslaw. I think KFC probably have one of the better coleslaws around, other than you know homemade, but. I guess he has a pretty decent coleslaw. But anyway, I'm going to end this video so I can continue eating my food and finish eating in peace. But again, comment below. Let me know what you think about the situation. Also, if you would like to get yourself a, your own shirt, The Anthony Brown Show. The link is in the description below. Also, probably starting, if not tonight, definitely tomorrow, I'm going to start probably doing reaction videos and let me know what shows or what TV shows or whatever that you would like me to, or even if you go on YouTube and find something, send me the link. My email is below or you can just inbox me or whatever. Let me know what you would like me to do a reaction video on. And by all means, I will. So I'm, I'm teaching myself tonight how to do, I've downloaded different softwares and I'm going to play with them tonight to see which one works best for me or with me. Um, until next time, thank you for watching the Anthony Brown Show. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And like I said, this situation kind of dis disturbed me just a, a little bit. But definitely get back to me and I'll talk to you guys soon. And you have a wonderful evening.